Hello, my name is Rocco and I'm the creator of a project called Beyond the Mat. This project is something that I'm aiming at owners of yoga studios and directors of yoga studios because the offering that I'm about to talk about is something that enables yoga studios to expand the horizons of their studios and expand what they offer to their members. Most yoga studios have figured out that there's a base collection <clears throat> of core and fundamental technologies which we could all benefit from in our projects of wellness and personal growth. And those are of course yoga and then the complementary ones of breath work and meditation. Now yoga I see as a essential technology. It's an array of technologies the way I see it, which actually incorporates the technologies of breath work and meditation, but does so in such a way <clears throat> that puts the practitioner in relationship with the innate genius of our own bodies, almost opens a dialogue as it were with their genius and through practice creates a space, a sense or a an access to a state of flow whereby we slow down <clears throat> this process that we're so busy with, including the chattering mind, as well as regulating our nervous systems and our psychologies for all of the chaos and the busyness and the, um, the overwhelm that we experience in our daily lives. The thing is though, we can't spend all our time on the mat <clears throat> and as brilliant as yoga is, as a technology, it's, it's, it's incomparable actually, there's nothing better. But a technology is never going to be capable of solving problems it's not designed to tackle. So <clears throat> there is a range of limitations or of possibly behaviors that, that we um, propagate or that we um, empower through our lack of understanding ourselves through a lack of knowing how to implement and establish and maybe even come back to key practices that we can establish in our lives. How do we understand our own natures? How do we understand the psychology that we're just given and that we inherit from our evolutionary biology and then even from our generational traumas, etc.? So beyond the mat is my response to that question. It's got five core pillars in it and I'd like to take you through each of those to under, so you can I can explain how each of these complements the projects of yoga and of breathwork and meditation that we're already doing. Now the reason I'm I'm addressing owners and directors of yoga studios is the way I see this offering is it's primarily aimed at restoring the soul at and soul is what is missing when life feels wrong. And life feels wrong at the moment. It's difficult. <clears throat> but there's only so much we can get done on the mat in that hour or hours every single day. And sometimes the complexity of what we're facing can't be answered through that modality. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean there aren't any answers. And yoga studios, as far as I can tell, are these natural aggregation and, and catchment points that... They're like service providers or beacons of, of help and beacons of guidance in our communities where people aggregate, people that are focused on their projects of wellness, of personal development and of restoring that state of calm in their nervous system through which they can do the other <clears throat> work of improving their relationships either with themselves, their loved ones, their families, their careers, their roles and their nervous systems. The first so there's five cores or five pillars which currently form the core of what I call beyond the mat. And the first of those is a, um, a modality which can apply to the same as, as a yoga class. It's a, it's a drop-in session <clears throat> that can be daily or drop-in occasional. Even just attending one can um, give somebody uh, a significant benefit. So it's called soul speaking. 
How soul speaking works is instead of the project of meditation, which actually aims to silence or arrest the storytelling componentry of our imagination and our consciousness, soul speaking harnesses that storytelling component. And through the medium of storytelling, that language of metaphor, archetype, totem, symbol, through that language, which our subconscious is very fluent in, actually aims to take one of the typical ideas or the typical concepts or the typical roadblocks that we all um, struggle with, the, the things that add psychological and emotional load to our daily lives. Forgiveness, vulnerability, grief, overwhelm. These are the kinds of things that add an emotional or a psychological load to any life. And the, the practice of soul speaking <clears throat> is to invite participants onto the mat. These things can be 30 minute, 60 or 90 minute sessions. <clears throat> you don't have to have been to one previously to get value from a session just by dropping in. But I've developed this modality which I've been practicing online for years now um, to great success. And it, it takes the form of an eyes closed or, or eyes open session depending on what um, the, the practitioner or the participant is most comfortable with. And I actually guide them through a session which unpacks the language, our relationship to these words and these ideas like forgiveness and vulnerability and gratitude etc. <clears throat> and guides us into a different mind space and a different heart space. Um, in a very elegant and personal way. So these talks are digestible and highly relatable and it's a form of practice actually and the more somebody participates in this form of practice the more open they become to this other style of engaging even with their own problems in a less of a reductionist context and more of an imaginative and a mythic context. So <clears throat> if you're interested I've attached a link to an example below. It's called Close Your Eyes. And this is an example of a soul speaking session where I've taken the idea of meditation, actually, and I've infused it with this modality, this storytelling modality, this mythic and symbolic modality. And you can see how that project is deeply enriched and the invitation it provides to the, and the nourishment it provides to the human soul. The second core of Beyond the Mat is an online course I've been running for some years and I actually ran it before at the um, Mindfulness Meditation Hub in Leaderville in Perth before it closed down. And there was always a waiting list several weeks long for people hoping to attend the course. It's called, it was called Accepting Your Nature. It's a four week course that's designed <coughs> to give the, the participant a deeper understanding of their own nature that includes the body, the nervous system, the neurochemistry, the hormones, the metabolism, etc., including the relationship we have with sleep and with our diets. The psychological experience, which includes our emotional competence, our the way we speak to ourselves, the way we see ourselves, this narrative or story by which we frame our whole lives. And what, what we inherit from our upbringing, our childhood, our previous relationships, even from a generational perspective, what we inherit and how that affects our psychology. <clears throat> and the premise of this is, how do you begin to care for something that you don't know or you don't understand? So love's other name really is understanding, according to Thich Nhat Hanh. Thich Nhat Hanh was a a Vietnamese Buddhist teacher, and one of his famous quotes is that um, to love without knowing how to love wounds the one that we love. And he ends that quote by saying love's other name is understanding. The point of accepting your nature, the point of that course is it's broken down and designed in a very specific way to allow delegates or participants to get a much better understanding 
of how they arrive in the current moment <clears throat> and why their behaviors and their habits are shaped the way they are, why their default responses to certain things are the way they are, and to give them the insights and the understanding and even the language so that they can begin to debug the operating systems of themselves. And primarily the key benefit of this is to reduce the barriers to self-love and give them better modalities on how they can speak to themselves and drive that internal conversation. <clears throat> so it does include also shadow work, inner child work, and generational trauma, soul retrieval, that sort of stuff. And as much information as is packed into that four-week course, it remains digestible and approachable because for the medicine to be effective, it has to be digestible. Now, <clears throat> if, if that second piece, accepting your nature, teaches people how to debug or how to better understand the human operating system, the next offering, it's a six-week arc at the moment, it's called Life Alchemy. If accepting your nature is the means and the understanding of how to debug the human operating system, Life Alchemy is an introduction to how to apply that understanding in cyclic practices and patterns in our own lives. <clears throat> so if anyone's looking to establish a daily practice and looking very specifically, not just for a new instructional and a new framework, but the tools to help them reboot and re-welcome them back into that cyclic approach when the wheels fall off, when things get difficult, when they lose track, which is what happens most often of all. There's six very specific things which um, I can link below this video if you want to understand what the benefits <clears throat> of that cyclic program are. The third, um, the third, the fourth, the fourth offering or the fourth core pillar of, of Beyond the Mat is called Just Be Like This Today. The premise of Just Be Like This Today is that any of us can do a dozen things poorly or we can do one thing well. And the invitation of Just Be Like This Today, it's also a modality which can be treated like a drop-in session or a regular daily session. <clears throat> Practitioners or members can drop in and attend the, the session and these things can be either 60 or 90 minutes long. And the point of this is they get to put down all the other nagging musts and shoulds in their projects of personal development, wellness, and how to live a virtuous life. Sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves <clears throat> trying to remember all these things and to apply them. And we always get caught not um, being able to step up to the level of our aspiration in moments of, of challenge and difficulty. We always fall down to the level of our integration. And just be like this today is, is designed to be one cup, one cup of living wisdom, of everyday philosophy that allows them to put down the enormous projects that everybody is busy with. Anyone who's committed to personal growth and improving their relationships and improving their lives always has this enormous load that they carry. <clears throat> and for that session, they get to put that down and they get to sit with one idea. Now, soul speaking is similar. It's more of a, a guided experience, but just be like this today is much more tightly framed around kind of ideas like um, how to practice vulnerability, how to honor oneself, how to um, be comfortable making mistakes. This is, this is so essential in how we step through our days and so essential in how we take that modality of yoga and breath work and mindfulness and that space that's opened up in there and then change the conversation that we're having in that space. So that's just be like this today. And again, what I'll do underneath this video is I'll give a number of examples of the sessions and the kind of topics that they are. The final core of the five cores of Beyond the Mat is called reimagining our story. Reimagining our story. <clears throat> we all have a relationship with 
tropes and archetypes of stories. And we all, whether we realize it or not, are actually the central character of our own story. Now, whether that story is a comeback story, um, a hero's journey, a fool's journey, or just a very dry account of bumbling through each day or grinding through each day, it doesn't have to remain that way. We actually get to begin inspecting the shape of our own journeys. We get to improve the, the dictionary, the lexicon that we have, the range of emotional competence that we have to apply to these stories. We can look externally to myths and folklore and legends, even Hollywood movies, and we can extract out of these the tropes and the archetypes that we encounter there, specifically how they impact and seem to have a symmetry in our lives and in our psychologies, as well as the, the people that we're in relationship with in our daily lives and our demanding um, uh, patterns at work. And reimagining your own story <clears throat> is, a, is, a, is another daily drop-in practice, but it's the kind that if members keep coming back and keep participating in their class, their knowledge and their understanding and their competency, just like yoga, will increase and expand over time. And what would each of us or any of us give, what would any of us give to rewrite and expand the horizons and the arc of our own story? Because that is where we derive meaning. So if any of these five modalities, soul speaking, accepting your nature, life alchemy, the cyclic approach to implementing a practice for ourselves off the mat, just be like this today, or reimagining your own story. If any of these five appeal to you and you can see a way to implement these or bring them in-house and expand the horizons of your yoga studio, I'd love to hear from you. So I've got all my contact details below. There's another link here to a full Substack article, which I've also transcribed as a podcast. So however you want to digest this information, go ahead and do that. And if you do want to reach out to me, again, if you're a Perth studio, the idea is <clears throat> I'll come around, I'll work out uh, how your culture um, operates in your studio, what you have an appetite for, and we might trial something. And on the back of that trial, we can figure out what best fits and whether we are a fit for each other actually as well. And then we can take it from there. But my contact details are below this video and all of the information I can think that's relevant is right, is right here as well. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. And I'm excited to meet with you. And I hope that this can become the, be the beginning of a, um, an exciting conversation.